What's up, y'all? My name is Matt Jumper. I am a web designer and no code developer, and I want to share with you my top six free web design resources. Let's kick things off. Keep it quick and dirty. Phosphor icons. You've probably heard of it, but when I'm designing websites or any type of UI, I'm doing it in Figma, I'm doing it in Framer, wherever I'm at, I'm using Phosphor icons. Their website's great, but they actually have an integration, like a plugin for all these different tools. And it just allows me to move at the speed of lightning. They have such a robust icon library and different weights. I can just easily drop them in. And it's not necessarily where I end up. I don't always use it in my final project, but it just allows me to move so fast knowing that I have the perfect icon to start with. And then if I need to evolve, I'll keep evolving. But Phosphor is where I always start. All right, next we have the Tailwind CSS color generator. So having multiple shades and tints of the colors in your palette is super important for cohesiveness on your site. Without this tool, it's kind of a pain in the ass, super tedious to make, but this is super easy. You literally just drop in your hex code and it'll spit out a full skew of tints and shades based on that color. And then it'll number them based on the Tailwind CSS framework using numbers so you can actually identify how dark or light the shade is and it's consistent with all the other colors. This is super helpful and it'll even change the mockups on the site with your shades and tints so you can see it in action. Then we have coolers. So this is such an effortless way to generate a color palette either from scratch or from an existing one. So you literally just hit spacebar and it'll just keep generating cohesive palettes that just work really well together. Keep hitting it. If you like a color, you can lock it. That stays in place and it'll just generate colors that work with that color. Keep locking it until you have a full palette that you want or drop in your existing palette. So let's just say you have two colors for your brand and you want a third one, drop them in and go to town. Next, we have colorcontrast.cc. So this is super important because making accessible colors is obviously very important and hitting that sufficient contrast can be tough while actually maintaining like a, a nice color. So this is a great tool because it's super easy and it gives you an actual giant canvas to do this. So they set the background color of the canvas and the foreground color uh, of the text based on the two inputs that you have. And you can actually use these levers to adjust the color and see it in real time. And then based off the contrast ratio, it'll tell you what level of accessibility you're meeting. Also shout out to the contrast plugin. I use it all the time too when I'm working directly in Figma and don't wanna leave. All right, and then we have Visual Electric. So I had to include at least one AI image generation tool in this, and it definitely goes to Visual Electric. I started using them recently and they've actually been integrated into my workflow because it's just so easy to use. I have a full video on my creative process with that on the Flex channel. You can check it out if you want. But even if you don't use the tool, even just going to the site and checking out the inspiration gallery is enough to get the creative juices flowing. Lastly, um, this list was in no particular order until this moment for number one. And it goes to uncut dot what the I've been gatekeeping this one for too long. This is by far the best collection of free fonts out there. Shout out to font share. You had your minute, but uncut definitely takes it so much gold in there. Um, definitely go get lost and finding some new fonts. All right, so that's my top six. Obviously, I left out so many good free resources out there. So if there's any tools that are free that you think everybody should know about that I should put in my workflow, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.